Good evening. This is Luke Thomas, QuakePredictions.com here at the Earthquake Channel. It is 1021 in the evening on Thursday, January 14th, 2021. See, I got it right this time. <laughs> Yesterday, I was a day ahead. All right, we're going to take a look at the quakes that have happened during the last 24 hours. And we got a 6.2. 6.2 was the largest quake down in Indonesia, Northeast Indonesia. We'll talk about it in that in a second here. And we got 35 quakes. That 6.2 caused uh, in the Sulawesi Island caused uh, seven people to die and hundreds injured uh, in uh, Sulawesi, the western portion there. And this is from uh, CNN, CNN. All right, over in uh, Chile, in Peru, and Ecuador, pretty quiet. And we got one quake here in uh, southwest of Guatemala. We did not predict that one. You can see here our forecast was for like 15%. We didn't pick up that quake. This quake here in uh, Concord or in San Francisco Bay, 3.6. Our risk was for a warning for East Central California. And this one happened over here in the 55% risk area. But we're still expecting something in East Central California. And we'll get to that in a second. In Alaska, things are quiet for now, but expecting a strong earthquake uh, near Anchorage in the next 24 hours. And we have a quake here of 4.1, a small quake south of Shizuoka, and then northeast of Taipei, Taiwan. We got one there. This one uh, south of Shizuoka was uh, right in this area here. And uh, looking for a strong quake in the next 24 hours there in uh, Japan. And this quake northeast of uh, Taiwan was right about in here in the 45% risk area. And Indonesia, this one here in uh, 4.6 in the northwest part of Sumatra. That one was up right here, close to the 65% risk area. The 6.2, actually a 5.7 hit first, and then a 6.2 over here in the uh, northeast Indonesia, in Sulawesi Island. That was... close to this 75% risk area. Notice the highest risk in all of Indonesia was right there where that quake hit. In Greece, 4.2, small 4.2 quake in West Central Greece. And that was right about in here, 65% risk area. And we're gonna go and start with the forecast now. So still expecting a 4.5 to 5.5 in East Central California or uh, West Central Nevada, and that risk extends from Mammoth Lakes, <clears throat> excuse me, to Lone Pine, Ridgecrest, down to Barstow, and north of uh, the Salton Sea, most likely in East Central California. And then on the 15th into the 16th, the uh, risk is 70, 75% here in South and Southeast California, where we get a 3.5 or so uh, during that 24 hour period. And then it quiets down after that. Let's go over to Alaska. We've got a very strong risk here down in uh, south of Anchorage. And I'm not going to speculate of something too strong, but uh, this is uh, reminiscent of the risk that was happened uh, in no November 30th of 2018, when that 7 point something, 7.2 or 7.0 hit uh, west of Anchorage. So expecting something strong south of Anchorage during the next, uh, here's, here's a high risk on the 15th and the 16th as well, see that? So during the next uh, 36 to 48 hours, expecting something strong uh, near Anchorage, most likely south of Anchorage, and we'll see what happens. That's definitely a very high risk south of Anchorage. In Chile, the risk, uh, is uh, we're going to the 15th here. So the risk is uh, uh, southeast of Santiago, Chile, 95% risk there. Something 4.5 could happen down there. And then on the 15th and the 16th, uh, northeast of La Serena, east of Copiapo, we could get a 5.0 there in northwest Argentina. 
and then the risk diminishes on the 16th into the 17th. Italy, now we, this Italy is the very difficult to forecast for. Um, it's just a strange, strange spot. Well, this risk continues 14th and the 15th right here in uh, central Naples over to Pescara and they're still expecting something significant in that spot. And uh, this is an extremely high risk on the 14th and the 15th. So we'll see what happens. Then the risk diminishes after that. So still expecting something there in uh, Naples to Pescara area in Italy during the next 24 hours. And in Japan, this is a very interesting forecast in Japan. The 15th into the 16th, expecting something, uh, well, anywhere in this red area here, but most likely over here, uh, northeast of Osaka, near Kyoto, Japan, west of Tokyo, this area in the dark red here, 95% risk area, a 5.5 or larger is possible in that area. And then on the 16th and the 17th, from Fukushima, Tokyo area, uh, another 5.5 is possible in that area on the 16th into the 17th. In the Philippines, it's been very quiet, very, very quiet. Very quiet on the 13th to the 14th, 14th to the 15th, 15th to the 16th. And then the risk begins to build back up again on the 16th and the 17th, east of Manila, actually anywhere close to Manila, the risk rises to 65%, 4.0 is then possible in that area on the 16th or 17th, Greece. Uh, the risk uh, builds into Albania on the 14th into the 15th. And then same area on the 15th and 16th. And then something interesting happens on the 16th into the 17th. We get a very high risk down here west of Crete and southwest Greece where a 5.5 is possible in that area. Central America, pretty quiet. Most of the risk is offshore. And then on the 16th and the 17th, where that quake hit today, is uh, the risk in, starts to increase in that area. And the Ecuador and Peruvian forecast, the risk is beginning to build back up in, in the northwest part of uh, or western Ecuador, 14th and the 15th. 15th into the 16th, same spot, western, west of Ecuador, you get a 5.0 up there. And then on the, uh, Colombia, southern Colombia, you could get something of 4.5 in that area, or 5.0 is possible offshore, uh, northwest Peru or southwest of Ecuador on the 16th into the 17th. Indonesia, we saw that quake hit in the 75% risk area today. And this one over here in the 65% risk area. Now, the 14th into the 15th, north of Jakarta and southern Sumatra, that's a high risk area that we get a 5.0 or larger north of Jakarta and southern Sumatra. So watch that area during the next uh, 24 hours. And then the 16th and the 17th across the northern Sumatra, uh, northern Sumatra. Indonesia, Taiwan, risk in the 15th and the 16th, mostly up in the northern Ryukyu Islands. Same here on the 16th and the 17th. Northern Ryukyu Islands and far southern uh, Japan there. All right, Puerto Rico, Caribbean. Risk is mostly in the southeast on the 13th and the 14th, 14th and the 15th is where we are now. Same thing, Southeast uh, Caribbean. And then this is interesting here, Western Haiti and Eastern Cuba could get a 4.5 to 5.0. It's possible on the 15th and the 16th. And then the risk diminishes on the 16th to 17th. So watch this area in Western Haiti and Eastern Cuba for the 15th into the 16th. Seattle, Washington. We are at this forecast right here and um, risk begins to build in the Northwest uh, from Washington state down in Northwest uh, Oregon, the 16th into the 17th, we could get a 4.0 in that area. And in Hawaii, now I believe we got 
a 4.0, let's see. It was a 4.0 earthquake in Hawaii today. And if you look at the Hawaiian earthquake forecast, the risk is very high. We were expecting something up here in the, in the northwest portion of Hawaii and western portion of Hawaii. We'll see what happens. The 5.0 is possible in western Hawaii or northwestern Hawaii. That quake happened down here in the southern portion of uh, Hawaii, southwest of Hilo. So there's a, a lot of risk in Hawaii right now. New Zealand from uh, Christchurch. I believe this is on the 14th, okay. 14th and the 15th in the southern portion of New Zealand. And then, and same thing here, but 16th into the 17th, Christchurch has very high risk on the 16th into the 17th. A 4.0 to 5.0 is possible in central New Zealand and even in the Christchurch area. So keep an eye on that on the 16th and the 17th. Once again, the Los Angeles area, Expecting a 4.5 to 5.5 in East Central California down to the Salton Sea tonight. And then the risk on the 15th into the 16th, 3.5 is impossible in Southeast California. And after that, the risk uh, goes down. Thank you so much for supporting us here at uh, the Earthquake Channel, quakeprediction.com, earthquakechannel.com. And uh, keep an eye on uh, California, East Central California. And watch for that uh, Alaska, south of Anchorage. We could get a big quake in that area during the next uh, 48 hours. So be prepared for that. We'll talk to you again uh, tomorrow night, which is, I believe, I get my date straight here. Yes, it's Friday tomorrow, the 15th. We'll talk to you tomorrow at about the same time between 9 p.m. and midnight. Every night here at the Earthquake Channel, we keep you safe and keep you informed about the earthquakes around the world. Thank you very much for following us and thank you for supporting us. And if you haven't already, please subscribe at YouTube and uh, we'll be back tomorrow. We'll be back. I'm <laughs> not very good at that, but we'll be very, uh, we'll be back and we'll be uh, keeping track of the earthquake, earthquakes for you. Thank you so much.